Hello dear friends, I am Vangelis Prokopiou and you are watching Rust Closures Double Free Safety. I wanted to talk a little bit about this topic, about the double free safety uh, that Rust Closures provide. Uh, as we know, double free is a very common bug that uh, can happen in other languages like C++ and C. When uh, we try to free up uh, memory twice, and this can cause uh, to undefined behavior and uh, many problems and uh, vulnera vulnerabilities uh, in our applications. So, I wanted to, to show what happens in Rust uh, with this topic. Uh, so we will use a small program like this one. As, as you can see, we define a, a string here then we define uh, a closure that that uh, drops the string and then we call this closure twice to see what happens so let's try to to build and run this application if we come to our terminal and try to run cargo build we will see that uh, this application does not does, does not build because we have errors like this one. It says that value was moved here at line 5 when we first called the free str uh, function closure and then at line 6 when we call again this closure it says that the value used here after move we are trying to reuse a value which was moved into this function call so this code will never run if we edit this and remove the second call and try to run this, we will see that this code was run successful, no errors, nothing. So we see that uh, Rust uh, protects us from double freeing. Let's make it a little more complicated for uh, the Rust compiler we will edit this program and we will declare a new function which accepts a closure that implements the fn trait and then we will redeclare our string uh, we will redeclare our uh, closure that drops our string and then we will call this call twice uh, function which in itself will call twice this closure and let's see what's going to happen here if we go back and try to build this application <coughs> we, we will see that we have errors which are uh, closure is fn once because it moves the variable mystr out of its environment this closure implements fn once, not fn. As we saw when we declared this uh, generic function, we declared that uh, the closure implements the fn trait. But when we tried to build and run this code by default, the Rust compiler enforces the fn once trait on this closure. What uh, do these things mean? What is the fn and the fn1 fn1 trait? If we go to the documentation, Rust documentation, we can see the definition for these traits. For example, this is the fn trait, <coughs> and we say it says that uh, instances of fn can be called repeatedly without mutating state. Fn is implemented automatically by closures which only take immutable references to capture variables or don't capture anything at all, etc. etc. Since our program consumes this variable and mutates it, drops it, by default the Rust compiler enforces the use of the Fn1 trait. So let's see what this is. Instances of fn once can be called but might not be called multiple times. Because of this, 
if the only thing known about a type is that it implements fn once, it can only be called once. So, as we see, the Rust compiler enforces the fn once trait on this closure that we defined because it understands that uh, if it does not restrict its user its usage in this manner, then we will go we will have a double free error and uh, this can lead to undefined behavior. So I think that this is a very good and explicit example of how Rust by default and uh, Rust closures uh, particularly in this case uh, can protect us from these common mistakes, from these common bugs. And just to make it abundantly clear, if we uh, if we comment comment out this uh, part of the code and to try to run this application, uh, oh, th this is a very nice example. <laughs> Even though we commented out the code, it still enforces this fn one trait on the signature, so it does not compile and it does not run. It enforces you to change the signature of the function that we defined. So let's try to do that and say that it, it implements fn once. Now if we try to run this code, we will see that it builds and runs without a problem. I repeat that the, I think this is a very nice example, a very explicit example of the protection that uh, the Rust language is, the, the Rust language offers to us, and how it protects us from many common bugs and mistakes that uh, we have to manage ourselves when we deal with code uh, written in other languages like uh, C++. Of course, this is uh, in no way a video to downplay on the significance of the C++ or the C language. It's just um, a video to, to showcase the safety that Rust provides. And uh, in my opinion, this is a very nice thing to have, especially when you're dealing with the critical uh, code, critical stuff. So this was the video for today. Thank you for watching and have a great day.